Welcome everyone, we're approaching the end of Xenosog episode 3, there's only going to be 3 episodes left. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy the story the rest of the way, there'll be a lot of plot the last half of this episode. As well as showing off a lot of the end game stuff that we got that's going to just make the rest of the game pretty easy. But, at the same time, it's all, we earned it, we beat the Super Bosses, so it's going to be a lot of fun, so let's get into it. Anyway, while I'm thinking about it, we have a lot of freaking skill points now. May as well use them. Let's see if we can get both master skills on the same playthrough here. That would be pretty. I might be clo I might be able to actually. Mm, I might still be able to. It'll just take a little bit more skill points from the rest of the game. I can get master skills on the other characters now and show those off, right? Just take all our skills, because why not? I I do I do have a few items to get SP, that's right. I've got one 500, and I've got one 100. I, I don't know. I don't remember exactly how much I have. But we can get this. What is Chaos's Masters? Heaven's Trackers. Always execute critical attacks. See, we just increased luck, so we don't need stuff like that on our other characters. What about juniors? Overtaker. Increases large increase in boost rate. Self. If you use this, you can and you can get critical hits also. You can actually like infinitely boost if I remember correctly, which is like really also really broken. There's a lot of broken things in this game. Items. Go ahead and give the D to you. I already know Jen's other skill is Blood Dancer, so I'm gonna see what... Eh, we can get them both close, I guess. Oh wait, I just realized I need, like, another... 20. That's fine, we'll get that soon. Okay. I'm at least gonna get through a little bit through this area, because there's a lot of story left. I don't want to use the Sigma every fight, because it's kind of broken. And honestly, we got enough broken things now anyway. Alright. What's the difference between Gale Blade and Gale Strike? This one has a higher critical rate, but I mean... I'm gonna test this out, actually. Since I already have maxed out luck, I wonder which one's better. Wow, you actually did crit. Okay, Gale Strike's better, got it. Um. Use double shot. Use your physical prowess, Shion. Let's go. Use W Blade. Get get that Gnosis. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yeah, we're kind of broken anyway, but you know, whatever. One more fight will probably give us the um the master the second master skill for Cosmos. I don't remember exactly which way I'm gonna want to go, but let's fight this thing first. I don't need to use traps at all, do I? <laughs> Engaging with maximum output. Nice damage, Jin. Nice job, buddy. You're so good. W blade. Yeah, this will kill everything, pretty much. Good job, Coco. Good job. It's not because I'm broken, I promise. Oh yeah, we'll easily get the other master skills looking at this now. So, Cosmos. Her other master skill is Platinum Singer. Increases defense and ether defense. I assume this is just as good as the attacker version of it. Which is Blood Dancer, of course. So just some self-stat buffs. 
Um, she doesn't really have any that many good skills outside of that. I guess the next thing I go for, if I even get to it, is probably short counter or best ally. That's like the only really good things left. All right. Now, I don't remember which way is the right way and which leads to like something else. Back attack. Eliminating enemy threat. Raging C3. Come on, Jin. Can you do a bunch of damage to all of them? Yes. Wow, they didn't die from that. And you guys actually have a lot of health. Cosmos apparently has just enough damage to kill you. I did not realize that. Dart. Then again, I can always just use Xion's Urtikaiser Sigma spam that cost 1 EP if I really want to. Um, do you have any AoE, like, physical attacks? Probably not. I don't think this is AoE, or physical, but we'll find- Oh, it is physical, I think. Because I did a lot of damage. Okay, cool. All <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Ah, I think we're supposed to come this way first, and then go back the other way. I don't know, there's a... I can probably find the link I, I remember for you, Shade, a little bit later. I think what we're gonna do is play to the next save point, and then when I get there, we'll probably end it off. And, um, yeah, we'll continue from there and finish the game on Friday. By the way, did I ever schedule a video to release today? I might have forgotten to do that. It's uploaded, but I think I might have forgotten to schedule it. Um, let's see. Hold on, give me just, like, five seconds, by the way. Place automatically, okay. Um, schedule for 10 minutes from now, because that would be 4 o'clock. <laughs> you don't get enough Xenosaga fill, you can go watch my Xenosaga 1 VOD later. Alright, that's scheduled now, that'll release in a 10 minutes, good. Attacking! Attacking. Yeah, we'll just have Cosmos handle this since we have full boosts, I guess. You don't take too much damage there, Shion. Like, no crits? The heck? I have to give you even more luck, I guess. There we go. That's what I like to see. Give me all those big crits. Probably don't even need to fight any other enemies at this point. I probably could look at just run the rest of the game. Um, I honestly don't need any other items either. Wish I remembered the right way to go here. Oh, we're at the next save point. I guess this is it. This has all the items, too. I just realized that. Is there, like... I want to check something. I already have Ruthless Ring. I already have one during Clarice Double. I could do that if I wanted to. So, yeah. I don't think I need any of this. Nah, I'm going to finish it on um, Friday, I think. I think I'm going to stop right here, just because it's... We've been at it for a while. Friday we will be finishing this game.
it's all story the rest of the way. Thank you for bearing with me as I did a lot of side content after the Margulis fight. So, yeah. <sighs> Jeez. Four hours. Um, I don't know how long the next stream will be. I know we got like at least two hours of story. Hold on, let me check really quickly before you guys leave. You know, let's see. Oh, we've only got like an hour and 40-ish. Hour and 45 minutes of cutscenes left. Okay. Yeah, we can finish next stream. I can, I can, there won't be two hours of gameplay next stream, not with how broken I am right now. Yeah, we can finish next stream. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's look for... And it's okay, Frick. Thank you for coming by anyway. Come by earlier next time. Let's... There's going to be a lot of story dump next time. A lot of character stuff. It's going to be a lo really fun time. And yeah, it's going to be really hype. I hope you all will come by. Friday at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So please come by. I do appreciate it if you do. Um... Let's see, who is streaming right now that I can host? No one I know that I am following. That's unfortunate. Let's find, see if someone's playing a game I like. Ah, yes, this guy is playing um, Xenoblade Chronicles. We'll host him, why not? He's apparently... Also partnered, so maybe he's well-known. I don't know. And host. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the stream. Make sure to come back. It's going to be a lot of hype, a lot of fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. The group proceeded through the isolated laboratory beneath Archon Cathedral, but the Zohar was nowhere to be found in the shrine. Instead, Margulis lay in wait for them. Margulis had nothing left to believe in and had lost his reason for existing. He declared that all he had now was his fight with Jin and challenged him to a final battle. Margulis lost and then took his own life. A red ES appeared and recovered the vessel of Anima, and at that moment, Xion's pennant began to shine brightly once more. The light seemed to be guiding her. Current objective, search for Abel and the Zohar by following where Xion's pendant leads. Alright, we left off right here. I believe this is actually our final shop. Thank you, El Bigante, for subscribing at Tier 1. I do appreciate it so much. So what I'm going to want to want to do is um, get the maximum amount of traps possible. And, you know, we're going to get one more strength upgrade. We'll get one more strength upgrade. Because why not? Why not, dude? Put that strength upgrade on Cosmos so she has 326 strength. Extreme overkill. But, you know, we like we like having fun here. Oh, I thought it was going to do a cutscene. What is that? The pendant. It's... It's from there. I can hear a voice calling me from there. Go down. Yes. Also, yeah, no Cosmos version 1 outfit because version 4 is better and I don't want to spend 50,000 gold on something useless. It's super fun Allen day today, actually. Turn around, I don't want to waste my traps yet. There's too many enemies coming up. Eliminating enemies. Okay. Um, go ahead and use Gale Strike, I guess. Sure. Yep, yeah, good job. Wow, 6,000 damage. You didn't even die from that. Get him, Xion. This is why we need to use Urtikaiser. The best move. You blade. There we go. Nice. All systems functioning normally. Let's not talk about version two. Version two isn't real. It can't hurt us. I probably don't have to fight all these enemies. I'm, like, broken enough at this point, but... 
You know what? We're gonna enjoy the Here combat. We We're just gonna just take our time and enjoy all the things the game has to offer us. Nice job. Let's see. Did I just say Perun? Yo, did I just say that enemy was called Perun? Oh, I mean, I know there was the boss in Xenosaga 1, but I didn't think they'd have a normal enemy called that just randomly in this game. That's actually kind of funny. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yo, it does say it's Perun! Let's go. That's really funny. Kill Perun, Jin. Look out this. Dang it, Jin, you're supposed to have like maxed out luck. What are you doing? You have 80 luck, not maxed out, but you know, still. I guess Cosmos got it. Gotta rely on Cosmos for everything. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we, Jin and Cosmos are both pretty broken now, because I, I maxed out a lot of Jin stat, or at least leveled them all up to, um, so Ruben could be really good. And then I leveled up Cosmos after that. Oh god, this area. Oh man, the underground ruins. Ugh. This is the only area I don't really like. Every time you step on this, this thing will move. And you gotta figure out the right path, and there's a bunch of these. Music's pretty good, at least. I actually think I kinda remember how to go, but I don't know for sure. Eliminating enemy threat. Um... You know what? Just for funsies. We're gonna show off the Urdekaiser Sigma again, in case you weren't here last time. So, Urdekaiser Sigma. Probably the most broken ability in this game. Look at this crap. Look at this crap. It also has the longest animation of any move in this game, by far. He's already done enough damage to kill all of them. But we gotta hit them again. Then we gotta hit him all one more time. Don't worry, it's really strong though. Really strong. Nice skill upgrade C from that. I didn't even think enemies could drop that. Uh -huh. That'll open up that path so we can go that way now. I'm trying to think of this like a square. I think we go to the right here now. That should let us progress. Um. Nah, Sigma's not canonically stronger than Coast. Here we go. I'm sorry to say it's not. Otherwise, it's canon that we defeat Sigma. Just remember that. It is canon that you defeat Sigma because. The Dark Professor acknowledges defeat. So, yeah. I gotta use Break Blow. What was I? Th I meant to use a different move. I can't. I can't think properly. That's fine. Though. I'm gonna use Xion to get the kill here because she can do it. I believe in her. Get that double shot. That's the wrong. I should have used double shot too. But you can still kill easy. Okay. Good job. Sigma were to attack the party, wouldn't it one kid KO everyone with that damage? Hmm. I mean, technically. Version 3 Cosmos is not. Okay. Look. Honestly, version 3 could probably win against Telos. If. I, I can't get into this yet. We're not at that section of the game where I can really talk about it, but we're really close, I promise. Yeah, this was it. This is what I wanted to do. I'll handle this. Um, hit all of them, Jin. Uh, 
Oh, she's so good. Does 5,000 damage per turn. Remember just two streams ago when Ziggy was our best character by far? Not even, well, not by far, but... Remember two streams ago when Ziggy was our best character and we all thought Devil Break was, like, really good? You get to Chapter 9 and the game just blows itself wide open. You get to the end game here and then Ziggy's like, Alright, I did my part. We just got a really good accessory, by the way. Um, who stabbed Nick? Yeah, we don't really need the recovery Ether Plus on Jin at this point, so we'll take that extra boost turn. Ziggy's not even chapter. He's still the best character for the first eight chapters. I mean, considering there's not like a like a ton of end game content or post game stuff in this game, that still would make him probably the best character in the game, if you ask me. Unless you consider ES fights also, and then in case you could probably give it to Jin just because the Ruben is just that good, but don't yeah, I don't know. Me. I think I'd say as far as ground combat overall throughout the game, Ziggy's probably the best. And it's not like he couldn't be good now. You could have pumped all those stat boosters I did into Ziggy as well and make him still pretty good, you know? And his breaking ability, if you don't get all those stat boosters I did or do all the in-game content, can still make him a good character as well. So it's not like he's bad by any means in this section of the game either. It's just that we've kind of gotten our super powerful skills now and um, we got really broken characters now and yeah, all that kind of stuff. W Fang, which one moves next? This one, kill it, goes again. No, it guarded! Okay, that's fine, I guess. Don't guard this time. There we go. One turn till crystallization. Okay, just don't die then. Don't get crystallized. Stop boosting. Who said you could boost? Yeah, we use Jin to finish this off, I guess. Easy. It's just a scratch. Um, this section. I think we're almost at our destination here. One of our destinations. First of all, let's see. Can we get our master skills yet? Our other master, not quite, almost. Get that luck plus two, Tion. You really needed that. Cosmos has both master skills. No! Crap. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Does Erdikaiser Sigma scale with the actual strength threat of your character? Strength stat. We got armor we don't need. Nice. I'll handle this. Um. Let's get our boost to back, I guess. Um tech. Double shot two. Uh I could probably test it out right now. We're right next to a thing. We'll know very quickly if it's strength or uh, if it's strength, and this is gonna do like extreme massive damage because it's yeah. Cosmos has 322 or 324 strength. Ugh, let's just test it out. And it'll do more than Shion's, which was uh, she has like half the strength Cosmos has. Okay, it's strength. It's strength. Holy crap. And the luck stat also affects it, I think, because I got two crits. 99,000 in a single... Oh my god. All systems fun wow, you can actually one-shot the final boss with that. That is super broken. Why did they put Sigma in this game? You can use it with Blood Dance here? Hold on, hold on, okay, hold on. Don't hold on, hold me. on, this is, this is important. This is important. This is 
really important. Not now, Jim. Alright, we have full boost for good. I didn't know Blood Dancer worked for it. I, I figured. I didn't even know it was based on. That's so broken! That's so stupid! Oh my gosh. Why? What's the point? What's the point? What? <laughs> oh my god. These enemies have 5,000 health. Why do we need to do 300,000 damage to the. We're not using that. We're not using that anymore, by the way. We had our fun. Oh my god. Oh man. What is this place? <sighs> Are you okay, Chief? Maybe you should rest a little. It's already passed. What is this? A dead end? Junior, look at this. These letters. Yeah, they're the same as the ones we saw in that floating landmass. Momo, can you read it? And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye. For I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. That's the only text I can decipher. The rest isn't in my data. Hmm. This material. Is it crystal? It feels like some sort of crystalline structure. This structure has the same composition as Xion's pendant. I detect this compound throughout the planet. It's the same as this pendant? In other words, it's definitely not a normal room. But this little room is what Ormus wanted to protect? This is not a dead end. I detect a large energy source from beyond this room. But there's nothing resembling a passage. Xion? Someone's calling me. Hey, Xion, are you okay? You've been looking pretty sick ever since we came to this room. N no. Xion. Chief! Xion. Who is that? Why do you appear before me? Tell me, who are you? Xion. <gasps> Abel? This form is what you have defined me as. If you call this form Abel, then I am able. You're Udu, aren't you? I am just one of the ways that Udu is perceived. Udu wants to know. Know what? 
about the wills that desire a dissipating world. Everything about you, everything about this world. I don't know any of that. Xion, are you feeling pain right now? Is pain a method to recognize yourself? Why do you all seek pain? I don't know. I don't know either. You don't know? I don't know as well. No matter how much you hurt yourselves, no matter how much you hurt others, it won't make you feel better. So why? Xion, why do you exist in this world? What does your heart try to see in the abyss of despair? Where is the real you? The real me? I'm right here. I don't understand. Where am I? I want to know. What am I? Who will define me? That's right. I'm alone. Only that song heals me. That's right. He is the only one who heals me. What I want is... Xion! Are you alright, Xion? I... yeah. I'm okay. Nephilim? Xion, what you seek lies ahead. If you wish to go forward, you must open the door by your own hands. What? This room was sealed by the will of a woman who was able to call upon the power of God. She did this to prevent what lies ahead from falling into the hands of mankind. If her consciousness does not awaken, you cannot reach the truth that lies ahead. A woman? Who? Someone you know well. In the distant past, she laughed and cried together with you. She is your other half. My other half? Now, in order to save this universe, she must awaken, but this will force you to make a painful choice. Her awakening will erode and chisel away your life. If you were to turn back here, no one would blame you. Everyone knows your pain. My pain? No one knows anything about me. No one knows how I feel. I was always alone. Even when I called for help, no one listened. The only one who listened was Kevin. That's not true, Xion. Everyone listened. Everyone wants to protect you. You're saying the same thing everyone else is. Then why didn't they save me? They stayed away from me, like I was some kind of a disease. It would have been better to have been denounced or condemned. Xion, please don't lose sight of yourself. Don't let his words overcome you. You don't have to worry. I'll open the seal. But it's not for any of you. It's for my own sake. And to take responsibility for what's happened to the universe. Chief, wait! Why do you torture yourself like this? Move, Alan. This doesn't concern you. Yes, it does. I've always loved... I'm worried about you. You saw what happened. I summoned the Gnosis. I caused the destruction of the universe and everything. That doesn't mean you have to take on everything by yourself. I mean, we, 
we're all... If we put our heads together, we can find another way. You're so naive. The situation is already far beyond that. Alan, what power do you have? Can you save me? Can you save my life? I... You don't have any power at all. If you can't do anything, then just shut up! Chief... Shion, that's going too far. He loves you. Uh. Chief, do you miss him that badly? Even with your body broken like that, you still have to see him? I've made up my mind. Leave me alone. Shion, are you sure? Yes. This is... This is that floating landmass. No. It must be some kind of planet. I see. Maybe... It's a memory from when this land was alive. This must be... Lost Jerusalem. First of all, sorry for that noise during the Abel cutscene. Um, that was a drill. It should be gone now, I think? I think we're fine, I apologize for that. Um... Secondly, wow, really heavy cutscene we just watched there. Um, I think conveniently Shion went, like, had a, a moment when Jin was like, he loves you. So I don't know if she actually heard or understood it, but who knows. <sighs> we still got a lot more to go, though, so it's going to be fun. I was already pulling at my heart. The stones are still new. They look like they were just made. <gasps> Chaos! I don't understand. Why are you here? Since you are here, it must mean that you have come for her. Her? Yes, that's right. Where is she? In this casket? <gasps> Chaos, who is in this casket? <sighs> Chaos? Oh, it moves. <laughs> what? This is... It's Cosmos. <gasps> no, wait. She's human. She looks just like Cosmos and Telos. Kevin must have used her as the model when he first built them. She's so beautiful. She looks like she's sleeping. <gasps> What's happening? Where am I? Isn't that... chaos? That woman beside him is the woman in the casket. What is this feeling? Is it anger? Despair? <gasps> no. 
You're sad, aren't you? Uh, Cosmos! Are those... Are those tears? Why? Why are you crying? I see. You've lost sight of yourself, just like me. You don't know who you are anymore. You don't even know where you stand. And you feel alone. I understand. Let's find out together. All right? Let's try and find out who I am and why you are here. Let's look for the answers together. Cosmos. Xi'an. Xi'an. Are you all right, Xi'an? Chief. I... Can you stand, Xi'an? Cosmos! You've awakened, haven't you? Into your real self. Your... Mary. Mary? Mary Magdalene, my will. You finally awakened. Telos! That is not the vessel in which you are meant to dwell. Surrender and become part of me, Cosmos. partner of the Messiah. My body is Mary's body. Inside of Cosmos sleeps Mary's will. Now that Mary's will has awakened within Cosmos, I will take it inside me and complete my resurrection as the true Mary Magdalene. Cosmos is nothing more than a temporary vessel. Mary's... will? Mary's resurrection? Wait! What will her resurrection bring about? And what is it that Kevin's trying to do? Do you mean that you don't know? You are the key, Xi'an. You're the maiden of Mary Magdalene. Mary's resurrection is what he desires. The convergence of dissipating will. The revival of the soul. That is Mary's duty. When Mary fulfills her duty, Zarathustra shall speak!
You may very well be the maiden. But interfere and you will regret it. Do you understand? You don't have to be afraid. It's all right. I'm not going to kill you for his sake. Are you all right? Xi'an. Cosmos. What are you? Xi'an. Right now, I am Mary. And at the same time, I am not Mary. Wasn't it you who said that the heart changes from one moment to the next? Yes, but Telos is trying to make you a part of her. If that happens, then... I don't know what will happen by merging with Telos and becoming the true Mary. I don't know what the fulfillment of that duty will bring, but... Challenge me, you defective piece of junk! Do you want to be ripped apart like before? Listen, Telos. If your existence will bring harm to my friends in any way, then I will be forced to stop you. Tell us. <clears throat> we get to listen to some more really good music. Not a theme you'd think would be playing over a battle theme, but some good music nonetheless. has lost her past. I will awaken all your memories by my hand. Goodbye, tell us. This will end it. I'm impressed you could push me this far.
I see. So it's not just your appearance that has changed. Fine. But I am afraid that won't be enough to stop me! Cosmos! Do not worry, Xi'an. But that... that attack will... You are the one who designed this body, and it will take... more than Telos to defeat me. Shut up, you mechanical doll. Disappear from the face of the... Cosmos! You neutralized it with one hand? <laughs> you haven't got the best of me. Hardly. This is far from my true power! Xion, please stand back. Cosmos! Sorry, Telos, but this is goodbye. Resonating with Telos. Be careful. We don't know what will happen next. Cosmos! Cosmos? Are you all right, Cosmos? Xi'an. Thank you. There's no need to be concerned. I am fine. That's going to cover it for this episode. Cosmos has finally awakened into Mary Magdalene. So, we've only got two more episodes left after this, and... The story and the ending is going to be even better from here, so I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I really love this game, and I can't wait to go with, to the conclusion with all of you. So thanks for watching, everyone. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys on the last two episodes.